Hello, you wonderful, wonderful people. How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Ollie43, and today I've got some absolutely mind blowing GTA 5 mods. Like, these mods are just getting so ridiculous. And actually, I've got four mods to show you, and each of them are kind of cool enough to show you on their own. But I've just got back from holiday, and I am feeling like I should totally just. I'm in a good mood, so I'm going to throw it all in together, have a super long video with lots of talking, which I know you guys love. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's going to be a cool video. So if you enjoy this video, remember to tap the like button. Let's see how many we can go for. I'm not going to say a number. Let's just see what we can reach. Uh, that'd be really, really cool. So, yes. Okay, first on the list today is the A10A Thunderbolt 2. Now, for those of you that like your planes or your military aircraft, this is going to be rather like oh like really really cool for you i'm not a huge like military aircraft fan but i know the people that are including my friend george absolutely love this stuff so he's gonna absolutely geek out this mod um is literally amazing uh it's it's so good on so many levels the first level is number one the thing looks amazing like <laughs> it just looks so good like the turbines are going around that's incredible. If I fire the weapon here, the thing spins around, okay? And then you've got the interior as well, which is so freaking detailed. Like, this is, like, if this came out in the game itself as a DLC, I would not be surprised. Like, it's that kind of quality. It's amazing. So let's go and give it a little demonstration for you. All the flaps and everything work. Um, it replaces the laser, so what you're seeing here is a complete change in all of the features of the laser. It's so, so damn awesome. Really, really cool. Um, like I said, if you're a fan of customized or just military aircraft, this is a really nice aircraft to add into your game. It replaces the laser, which does exactly the same thing, so you could totally rock this mod in a vanilla GTA world and be totally cool with it. It's uh, it's just so good. It's like the guy who made it, bravo sir. You deserve a winner's badge because this is so cool. So yeah, like I said, the turbines work. They're whirling away. Um, <laughs> it's got all the weapons you want. It's got the missiles. It's got, you know, they, oh, look, they, it's so good. Let's fire another one. Look, they, perfect positioning. And then if I change it to the machine gun, or the cannon, I should say. <laughs> it's so cool. So yeah, that is just absolutely incredible. Um, like I said, if you want to download this mod, there's a link in the description, as always. Um, but yeah, so this is freaking amazing. So let's show the next mod, which is from Fallout 3. Can you guess what it's going to be? Let's, uh, let's land and take a look. Okay, so here it is. It's the 2075 Fusion Flea. Now, this is a game that was featured in Fallout 3. It is a three-wheeled vehicle, uh, which is a first in the game, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's the case. So, for number one, that's kind of cool. But look how cute this little thing is. It's so freaking amazing. Now, I... I I've not played Fallout 3 all the way through because, number one, I just don't have the time to dedicate like, <laughs> such a long game, that game is so long, uh, it's never been completed for me, um, but this is really cool, so if you're a Fallout fan, this is, like, really nifty that you get to drive this little thing around, it's so freaking cool, and it actually is really, really fast as well, so, yeah, we've got an interior here, which is very, very basic, uh, it's more for the outside, oh, no, oh, timed it, um, so, yeah, <laughs> if you're a fan of Fallout 3, this is pretty cool. So, yeah, let's see what else we got. Okay, so the next two mods I'm going to be showing you today are really Star Wars centric. And this first one is really, really cool. It is the X-34 Land Speeder from Star Wars. And it's the first hovering vehicle in the game. You can actually see very tiny pixels running around. Um, so, I don't know how they managed to do this, how they managed to pull it off. Um, but I imagine they replaced the wheel mod th or the wheels for like a very small pixel so you can see the wheels moving around there kind of flickering uh, but damn this is cool like you could do some really really awesome cinematics with this it's just so so awesome i mean like i said i'm a huge fan of star wars i've said it here before on the channel but this is just so cool you can be like yeah i'm in star wars all right so this in combination with the next mod i'm going to show you will absolutely blow your freaking little star wars fandom mind 
the next one is just amazing and is probably why you're here because it's the thumbnail because it's the coolest one actually let me know which of these mods is the coolest down in the comment section and um yeah it'll be interesting to see whether you prefer the next one or one of the other ones so yeah let me just go to los santos and load it up Okay, so in my previous Mass Effect Reaper video, I mentioned that someone was developing a Star Destroyer Star Wars mod. And I was really surprised to find out that someone's already finished it. Uh, it's currently in beta, so it's a little bit, it's not 100% perfect yet, but I'm super excited to show it to you this early on. Looks amazing, and I believe it's just around here. ta -da! Look how awesome this thing is. It is huge it is amazing and we are going to get a closer look because by george it's like ah so cool like it's i mean the textures need to be down still that is one thing for certain but just look at it look at the size of it it's, it's, it's so majestic it's so cool and when it's like when you get a, like a really cool cinematic i think it's tiny actually in comparison to what the size it should be i don't know what what are you doing it's like bouncing up and down right now but I mean come on you can't deny it does look cool it does look cool actually should we see if we can I'm curious to see what the size is like if we get up close and personal uh, yeah it's tiny but still like oh my god I love Star Wars and this is just if when they finish this it will be so good I just I mean imagine if someone actually made an interior for this like, someone could totally do that if they put the time into it. I mean, I wouldn't recommend anyone to put time into that because that's a lot of work for no money. But still, this is just oh, so, so cool. So, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, it's cool and everything, Ollie, but can you fly it? Well, EA, in your new game, I hope you can fly it because someone's modded in one for this game. So, it can't be too difficult. Well, let's spawn in a blimp, which is what it replaces. Uh, if I go to... So yeah, here we go, blimp, and oh, look at it, <laughs> it's so cool, I, oh, I'm just nerding out right now, big time, I just love my Star Wars, huge fan of Star Wars, and this is just like the coolest thing ever, dun, 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 dun. I'm not, I'm not going to do a theme tune, I'll get like copyright strike, but man, just look at it, it's so cool, this is like, this is completely useless. I mean, let's be honest, there is physically no use to this whatsoever, other than occasionally in Los Santos you can look up and see a Star Destroyer circling, like, the Maze Bank building. But, apart from that, it's, like, oh, it's so cool. Like, it's Star Wars. <laughs> Someone needs to make one of the Star Wars, like, uh, Starfighters, like, we've seen the X-Wing, but from, like, the new trilogy. I know no one likes the new trilogy, but that would still be kind of cool to see anyway. So... Yes. Um, can you go in first person mode? You can actually, believe it or not. Wow, look at this view. That's pretty awesome. Uh, you can. Uh, so here we have the blimp. I'm not entirely sure where this is on the... Oh, it's there. Is that it? There, that really small, tiny speck. You guys probably can't see that. Maybe you can. I don't know. How big is your screen right now? Well, I mean, just, just look at it. If... if <sighs> so cool anyway so yeah there we go guys i'm gonna cut this video short i'm not gonna go on for too long because i'm really really tired i've been on holiday and i just want to go and crash and sleep uh but i didn't want to miss a video so yeah thank you for watching this video be sure to hit a like if you enjoyed and i'll see you tomorrow goodbye <laughs>